Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. This is my third version of a crocheted C to C or corner to corner. This one is called a mini. So you can see this is the classic right here. And this is the modern or this one is a 6-3 and this is a 5-2. This one is a mini. Again, same amount of stitches, same hook, same yarn type, but look how much smaller that is. It's just crazy small. So if you want to have nice tight stitches and make something that's really feels a little thicker than this actually because the stitches are so tight, this is a good one. I don't use the mini very often. I tend to lean towards the 5-2, but there is a time and place. So I am going to show you how to do this one. This one is a little bit different than the classic and the 6-3 the and the 5-2. A little bit different. Has less stitches, but it looks like a tighter weave. So we start out with a slip knot. This is Karen Simply Soft. I think this is Autumn Gold that I'm using right here. And a 5 millimeter hook. Use the corresponding hook for whatever yarn you want to use. And for this one, for the mini, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And in the first two chains that we just made, we're going to half double crochet. So let the yarn over. You have three loops on your hook and go all the way through. Again, the yarn over, go through the first one. And there you go. There's our first tiny square right here. So little right here. So row two, we want to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. And in the first two, we're going to do half double crochets again. One and two. Now it looks kind of weird, but we want to flip this up so our very first tail is down at the bottom. Find our little chain two space, it's very small, and then the stitch right next to it is where I connect with a slip stitch. Chain two and inner chain two space two half double crochets. See these stitches work up really fast because it's only two instead of the three. So we're going to go one, two, three, four in these first in the first two stitches half double crochets and flip up flip up our work. There's our original square is right here so there's our tail. Find the chain two space and I slip stitch into the stitch that's right next to the chain two space and chain two and now in our chain two space right here we are going to do two half double crochets and again this is really really simple. This works up really fast even though it's smaller stitches there's less stitches so you really work work through these very quickly. There's our slip stitch, chain two, and two half double crochets. So the difference between these really making it a mini is we're using half double crochets instead of double crochets but the idea is still the same. One, two, three, four, and now in these first two each one gets a half double crochet. One, Two. Flip up our work so you can see the stairs. There's our chain two space and right next to it is where we want to slip stitch. Through that stitch and through there, one, two. And two half double crochets. There's our chain two space. Or chain two space, there's the space right, and there's the chain is right next to it. Chain two, 
chain two and two half double crochets in the chain two space. There's our chain two space. There's a stitch right next to it. Chain two. And two half double crochets. See, it's very tiny, but it works up pretty fast. All right, let's try one more and then we're going to change colors. So one, two, three, and four. And the first two of that chain we want a half double crochet there and a half double crochet here. Just flip this up so we have the stairs. There's our chain two space. There's the stitch right next to it and chain two and two half double crochets in that chain two space. This is how I change colors every time I'm working with a corner to corner or a a C to C. I always change colors this way. I'm going to change to this is if I can find the end, there's my end. This is Pagoda. Karen Simply Soft Pagoda. Pag Pagoda. Karen Simply Soft Pagoda. That one's kind of hard to say. So I nice, like to leave a nice long tail anytime I change colors. You want to weave those in later and you want to be able to put a needle on here and weave through the edges any way you want. No matter where you, where you end and where it is, you want to be able to have enough You want to have enough slack here so you can make a decent stitch with, with your needle. So this is how I change colors. I've completely finished this square. I'm going to find our chain two space, go into the stitch that's right next to it, and just slip stitch through there and through here. There we go. And then chain two. There's our chain two, and now we just continue making this next square with two half double crochets in the chain two space. I like to leave these ends nice and long. You're going to weave them in later, and you'll need to be able to pull this tighter every once in a while. I usually wait until my project is completely done before I weave in any ends, just in case. So there we go. Right, find the chain two space, the stitch right next to it, slip stitch, chain two, and in that chain two space, two half double crochets. And then we'll do our last one. There's our chain two space. Slip stitch, chain two, and two half double crochets in our chain space. Now we're going to turn the corner. So we're going to start to reduce, which is just to turn, spin our work, there's our stairs, and into this very first stitch that we just worked, go through and slip stitch. So there's one, and slip stitch number two. The slip stitch into the two top of the two half double crochets that we just did in that previous square and now we're back to our we're all lined up with our chain two space. So chain two and two half double crochet. Again, it's the same. Slip stitch chain two and half double crochet times two. There's our chain two space. Chain two
into space, stitch right next to it, slip stitch, and this is our last one for this row. So I do our two half double crochets, and now in this one we want to just attach like we have been with our slip stitch. And now I want to start working this direction. We're going to make a corner again. So we're going to turn our work and slip stitch into the two half double crochets that we just made. One and two. I have a little bit more better square. Chain two, two half double crochets. Chain space, slip stitch, chain two, half double crochets, chain space, slip stitch, chain two, and this is our last one for this row. Whoopsie. Two half double crochets into that chain space. See how quickly this works up. We're up to the top, chain space, slip stitch, spin, and we want to put a slip stitch in the top of the two half double crochets that we just made. This is a lot of repetition, but then it works up so fast. Chain two and half double crochets. Slip stitch, chain two, two half double crochets. Slip stitch. Now we're done with this row. Spin and a slip stitch in the top of the two half double crochets that we just made. This will be our very last square in this corner. So chain two, two half double crochets in that chain two space. Come over here, there's our chain two space. We want to slip stitch. And again, just like we did for all of the other ones, turn our work and slip stitch over to the corner through the top of these two half double crochets so that we make a nice edge and finish off any way you want. There you go. It's just tiny. Just a tiny little guy. If you wanted even tighter stitches, take this down to maybe a four and a half from the five that we're using. I very rarely use the mini and if I do it's a time that I don't want to change colors. I don't like how the color changes work and here they show up because there's not very many stitches so I just don't like the color changes in here. So if you wanted to have things with lots of stripes and ch color changes and things I suggest that you use the classic or the modern which is a 6.3 or a 5.2. The mini I would use only for tiny things that are all the same color really personally because I like how this looks. This is really looks nice. This one looks really nice just being its own color. You can see here with this, the transition edge, I just don't like it. It's not, as, it's not as pretty as it could be. Not as pretty as it is over here. So there's how you do the mini, which is version number three of different ways that I know of to crochet a corner to corner or a C to C. And also if you're working with, if you're trying to do something with the mini, again, I always use it as a solid color and you can go down from a five, maybe go down to a four and a half millimeter hook and then makes the stitches nice and tight, gives you a nice sturdy fabric, makes a really really cute afghan or a throw all in one color. If you did do a color change just, re just remember that these are going to show up a little bit more on the transition edge because there's only two stitches in each 
chain two space instead of three like there is with the others. So that's version number three, which is the mini. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and stop back soon to see what else I can come up with. Thanks.